Welcome to episode 212 of Clarity Compressed. My name is Paul J. Daly. I'll be your host. And today we're talking about how to get everything to work together. <laughs> Let the good times roll. This is Clarity Compressed. Okay, that was my son, Miles. He edits so many of the podcasts that you have seen uh, over the last four years. But today's episode 212, it's the same whether or not you read it forwards or backwards. And the topic is, like Miles said, how to get everything to work together. Uh, This year, this last 12 months, is the first time I've ever had a business coach in my life. His name is Dave Meltzer. You should look him up, David Meltzer, on LinkedIn, Instagram. Uh, He's brilliant. He's helped me a ton. And one of the most important things that he's taught me over the last 12 months, probably actually nine months, is when I I said to him, I have so many things going on, and if you follow along, you know, now I have several businesses, there's always something going on. I have a a kind of big family for today, right? I have five kids in my house right now, we foster parent, we have, uh, from Miles is our oldest, down to a three or four month old, Um, little boy is our foster, and so it's like, people are always like, how do you do it all? How do you get it all to to work together? And um, first of all, I don't really have your answer for that, Um, But we'll talk about that in a second. So I asked Dave, I said, how do I know what to stop doing? Because I hear a lot of advice, people saying, well, you have to know what to stop doing as much as as important as knowing what to start doing. So I thought that would be a really great and insightful question to ask him. Hey, I have all these things going on. How do I know what to stop doing? And I was expecting him to give me some something different than he gave me, which I guess is kind of the point of having a business coach. They give you insight that you wouldn't have internally or that you haven't picked up before. Not just a business coach, but a mentor, someone to speak into your life. And he said this, you don't need to stop doing, don't spend your time thinking about what you should stop doing. Instead, you should invest and spend your time thinking about how do you get all those things to work together in a straight line? How do you get all the lanes running in the same direction so that they can serve one another and there's synergy between them? And of course, that moment, I just was like, okay, what we were actually driving back to a hotel from Glenn Lundy's house in Kentucky in Lexington at the time. And, um, you know, it's typically those moments, right, between the big events where you learn the most. And in this car ride home, this is what he said to me. And so I started to focus on that instead. I started to focus on how to get everything to work together. And ever since I started doing that, things have gotten a lot better. They've gotten a lot more synergistic. They've gotten a lot a lot easier to manage, I guess I would say, because I realized that I don't have to not do things as much as I have to get them to work together. So for, for instance, I'll give you an example. Right now, I have Congruent, which is a full service marketing agency, and I have a business partner, Robin Moore, who is now the, pres- um, the president and COO of that company. I no longer have operational investment in the company. I'm the CEO. I help, um, I help with sales. I help with brand strategy, right? But that is a lane. I have Contagious Auto, which is a consulting company with my business partner, Kyle Mountseer. And that is a company that really just offers consulting and some like mentoring and training services for dealers still in the marketing lane, right? So you have a full service agency. And then you have a consultancy, most of which are working with automotive dealers, right? So the lanes are going in the same way. Next, there is Automotive State of the Union. Automotive State of the Union is a modern media publisher. We've just decided, I'll talk more about this in another episode, but this is a media publisher that is actually um, creating content, creating uh, events, creating synergy in the automotive industry in order to help dealers and vendors work better together with less friction. We want to get everybody in to the ecosystem, whether you're a service writer or just a driver, we want you to pay attention to the same things as the owners and executives so that we can move forward together, right? Also in the industry. So now the last leg is real estate. I just, I'm standing inside right now. I talked about it two weeks ago, right? This is the new offices and studios. The office side is for congruent the agency and behind me, are two top-notch studios that we're gonna use to produce content for the agency, maybe for Contagious, but definitely for Automotive State of the Union, right? All these lanes are going in the same direction, right? And that's my business life. And so now it's how can they all serve one another? And for me, one of the things I'm focusing on is how do I make them like 
true lines. How do I make each company independently have its own set of books and leadership and so that they can serve one another? And I don't, although I try to get them to work together, I try not to have them enmeshed, if that makes any sense. I know it's hard when you're a small business owner, right? This line between personal expenses and business expenses, it's easy to say, well, I'll just, I'll just pay for this with that credit card and this for that credit card. I would advise against that because if you want to truly grow a mature business, it has to be able to stand on its own feet. That is a main component of having all the lanes work together and serve one another. It holds every lane accountable because there's a profit and a loss. So um, that's what I've been focusing and spending my time on. And then finally, the most important lane, the lane that's a part of everyone else, right? This is the lane that the, the traffic shifts in and out is my family. Family is never a, a perfect balance, right? Sometimes... You know, the family needs more attention. Sometimes it needs less attention and understanding and paying attention to that and saying like, okay, how can what's going on serve my family and serve the businesses that support the family, right? Last week I had a speaking engagement. I brought the family with me because I could, and we had some great family time and some great business time. So it is never easy. Sometimes it's tough, right? This morning I woke up kind of grumpy. Why? Because there's a lot to do and a lot of stress. So what do you do? What do I do now? Well, I have to make sure that my family gets a good part of me and not the leftover part of me. So all of that saying, think about how the different lanes in your life work together and not as much about what you should stop. I'm not saying you shouldn't stop things. Most of us have several things we should probably stop, whether you volunteer, whether you serve in a church, whatever. These are things that you could also be lanes for you. Right, And all of your life should fall into these categories or try to categorize them and think, how can these work together? Sometimes you'll say, this lane is no longer relevant. Sometimes you'll say, these, this lane could run a lot harder if it synergizes with that lane. So that's a little business advice I got from the one and only Dave Meltzer that I'm taking, internalizing. I've been practicing it and try to practice it for the last nine months. And now I'm passing it off to you. So hopefully you'll get a little clarity. You'll get a little perspective so that your lanes can be a little more synergistic and that you can do more and find that fulfillment and serve other people with all that synergy. So until next time, I will see you keep pursuing that clarity. We came to fight.